Uh, my name is Rotem Salomonovic. I had the VNS, the SD WAN product for Noage Networks, and I had PLM uh, for that function. I want to introduce you to a virtualized network services solution from Noage. I want to give you about a two slide introduction followed by a, a proof of concept demonstration. The virtualized network services solution here at Noage is an SD WAN solution that really connects users and applications together. You heard a lot about technology today. I want to bring that up a bit and talk about the ultimate goal of SD WAN is to securely connect users to applications or users to users. And from a technology construct, that means connecting branches to branches, branches to cloud, data centers to data centers. And for that, you need a holistic approach, not only a branch or an SD-WAN solution, but rather emerging of SD-WAN together with data center solutions and cloud solutions. And here at Nuage, based on a Forrester study that came out two days ago, uh, that talks about there are many vendors working in the SD-WAN space and the data center space, but there's only one vendor who does both. And that's uh, Nuage Networks, that's exactly what we're trying to do, solve user to application, application to application, or user to user connectivity via secure overlay solution uh, based on a policy system. For the POC, I want to take a different approach there again. I want to take a user story approach rather than a technology approach. I have an app developer and I call that the app developer dilemma. The app developer dilemma sitting in a data center will want to roll out a new application as it's developed and he wants to measure what the experience of users located in remote branches are going to be. So how does he know as a web developer does my app scale to handle all the users at all my branches? How do I perform a scale out architecture? And how do I ensure as users come on and off my application, my application can, can, can support that load? Lastly, I also want to enforce security policies to make sure that only the users that I allow to access my application should access, access those applications. So if we take an application developer view, for that he needs to be able to roll out application in a data center or cloud. He needs to merge the user space which is in the branches and he needs to apply end-to-end -end policy between the branch and the data center. And all that has to happen without affecting daily business operations. He cannot start ringing up users and remote branches around the world asking him to test application responsiveness. So he has to do it all on his own. And that's a demo I'm going to show you how an application developer is able to deploy the application and launch what we call virtual users. These are users that are sitting at every branch location on the appliances uh, that are located in that, in that environment and simulate user activity to that application. And I'm going to show you what that is. So the demo that we have for you today is based on a centralized policy system from Nuage. We call it our VSP, Virtual Services Platform. That's a unified policy system that manages both the data center and the WAN together under a single, single umbrella. We introduce also, at the bottom left, you'll see uh, applications, what we call uh, web applications that the app developer is trying to introduce. And alongside that, we also have an F5 load balancer that is front-ending for a scale-out architecture of those applications. Those applications can be deployed on any hypervisor, obviously. All the WAN solutions that we have can also be deployed on an OpenCP x86 off-the-shelf platform deployed on the branch. So let's go to the demo. What I'm showing you now is a view of our policy system and I'm going to go to, the, to a branch location which I called Store2. That branch location essentially has uh, a Docker container running a virtual user on that device. The app developer was able to go to a selector store and launch a virtual user based on a Docker instance that he has created, independent of the networking operational guys of the SD-WAN, launch it on the store location and simulate an, an end user from that store. So now kind of let's log, log in to that user view. I'm going to log in now to that lo Docker, Docker location. and start simulating a test to the application that sits in the data center. So now the Docker container sitting on the appliance of the branch is now simulating connectivity uh, and running to uh, the application. 
as you can see it's taking some time because that application is being simulated to run under load it cannot handle that user experience and therefore it's going to come back with quite uh, a slow transfer rate of about 166 kilobits per second we're going to go back into a policy system and now simulate a scale architecture where we add another web server behind the load balancer that sits behind the F5 and redirect and service chain that load balancer into that solution where we, and then we're going to go back to our container and run the simulation again. The container is going to now go, instead of going to the first web server that was overloaded, it's going to go now via the load balancer via scale out architecture and, load, and, load, and, and share the, the load across the two, the two uh, web servers at the back end. So here's my latency response, I've come back. And now I'm getting 88.4 megabits per second throughput as a scale out architecture. What we showed is now that we have a, a branch and a, and, a, and a data center solution under a single policy framework emulating user connectivity from any branch location to applications located in the data center. And with that, I'd like to thank.